Constant Slim wallet worth nearly $3,000? I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this wallet so you can decide if this pricey little wallet is worth it or not. Get into the features of the bag, my buying advice, pros and cons to the style that I've learned through using the wallet, what fits inside when you're using it as like a small bag, and different ways you can wear it so you can get the most use out of this expensive little wallet. And by the way, I did have to refilm parts of this video because I had a little issue with my camera being in focus. So some shots will be with the headband and some shots you might notice that I don't have it on. So this is the Constant Slim up close. You have the H closure. You open it up by sticking your fingers kind of under and popping it open. On the inside, you have this extra coin pouch. It has a zipper at the top. Inside, you have a card slot in the front and a card slot in the back. These are enough slots for me to use for all of my cards. And in the middle, I usually keep cash and this little pouch for coins so the inside doesn't get scratched. The back, you have a belt loop that fits most sizes of belts, which I'll show you later on. This is how it looks on the edge. You do have this little open bit at the top and I think that's why they give you the coin pouch so nothing like comes out of the wallet by accident if you have small coins. On the bottom, it is raised up. You can kind of see it better from this angle. It kind of protects the inner part of the wallet. I don't remember what leather this is, but it has a nice little bit of texture to it, which I think helps hide any scratches. Now let's get into the pros and cons of the Constant Slim Wallet. The biggest pro for me, I love the compact size. This can go from small bags to big bags, and it's just easy. I'm not a person who changes my wallet with every bag that I switch out because I switch out my bags sometimes more than once a day to go with my outfit. Having my wallet just kind of there and ready and can go in most of my bags is something that I look for, and if you like ease of use, this is a really good sized wallet. Onto this bag, Maybe this is just a me thing, but I think the price tag makes me a little weary just to use it as an every single day wallet. So sometimes I'll take it like if I'm going on a trip and I want to have a mini bag, I'll use this as my wallet and then I can also use it as like a mini going out bag. But for my daily, just like for months on end wallet, I use something a little more durable in a Louis Vuitton canvas so that I know that it's gonna last a little bit longer and I don't have to worry about any wear and tear. The second pro to this bag is that it comes in a lot of the very rare colors that are harder to get in a full bag. So if you're looking for a specific color, this might be a slightly easier way to get that desirable color versus trying to hunt a bag down, getting it in store, or even going pre-loved where the price would be way more expensive. Another con to this bag though is how you get in and out of it. When you're touching this and pulling it open, you get fingerprints all over it. Same when you're closing it. It pretty much constantly looks a little grubby constantly having to wipe it i usually just use like a little sunglass cleaning cloth or something when i'm out another pro to this bag is that it comes with a coin pouch you can use that coin pouch in so many other bags it really helps justify the price of this wallet because even when i'm not continuously using this as a wallet i still use the little coin pouch you can just put a little cash coins in there and put it in any other size bag seriously even the tiniest of the tiny bags can fit this tiny little pouch in it i think that's really handy and a nice little addition with this wallet another pro to this bag is versatility of use i'm going to show you so many different ways you can wear this as a mini bag later on in this video so stay tuned for that but I find that the versatility that I can use it in so many different ways helps me justify the price of this piece because I'm not just looking at it as a wallet because I don't think I would ever pay, I believe the retail is like $2,650 last time I checked. It's really hard to find because it's not always online, but someone told me that was around the retail like when I bought this. So maybe even if it's gone up a little bit, like I just would never really buy a wallet that's you know, probably with tax and everything going to be around $3,000 unless I could really actually use it as something else. And this is not one of those wallets that like you put a conversion kit on it and you're like, oh, she's wearing a wallet. It actually looks like a really cute mini bag when you add a strap to it, 
because it looks so much like a Constance. Like this shape is just so recognizable with the age that you really look like you just shrunk down a Constance bag and you're wearing it as like the teeniest, tiniest little itty bitty bag. Another pro to this bag is that it's quite easy to get in store. Even when I was shopping around Europe and I couldn't get a bag all summer long, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link it above here. I was offered two of these and I didn't ask for it in every single store, but I asked for it in most stores that I went to. I was offered a gold one and I was also offered a blue one with a red hardware, but they just weren't the colors that I wanted, so I said no to them. So this one I found in India when I was traveling and it was not a display only piece, so I was able to just walk in and buy it. I had no purchase history there. I didn't purchase anything else except for this wallet. So. It's not something that you need a purchase history or a relationship with an essay to get. It just has to be in stock. Let's get into my buying advice for the Constant Slim Wallet. Let's say if you can get this in store, it's going to be the best price. They generally retain their value. I don't generally see the prices dip below retail on the pre-love market, but you can find some that are around that retail price if you can't get it in store or you don't live near a store. That being said, the more rare colors, like this is a 5P pink, it's an extremely rare bag and wallet color. Something like this, I looked up the price kind of of the pink ones that were on the pre-love market when I was going to buy this because India is a little pricier than Europe for Hermes prices. And what it was going for pre-loved was way above even the India retail price. But if you just want a constant slim and you're open to color, you could find something around that retail price with just a very small premium on top to get it pre-loved. I would also only recommend this if you intend to use it for several different uses. I don't think there's any wallet on this earth that I would say, yes, you need to pay $3,000 for a wallet. It's simply a wear and tear item when you use it as a wallet every single day and it's going to wear out. That's why I give mine a break because I want this mostly as a teeny tiny mini bag. You guys know I love teeny tiny mini bags, so it really depends on how you're gonna use it. I believe for just a couple hundred dollars more, you can get a Pico Tin 18. If you're only gonna use this as a wallet, you could buy a full bag versus just buying a wallet. Let's get into different ways you can wear this Constant Slim wallet. What I wanna show you is tying a Twilly. I just double knotted the ends of the Twilly together and made a shoulder strap for it. Now, this is not secure, so when you open the wallet, the strap can fall off. So keep that in mind, but I think when you're using this like a little teeny tiny evening bag, you can manage. You can also do this same with a Twilly doll, which is the miniature size of a Twilly. I've just tied the ends together in a double knot to create a teeny tiny top handle. You can also use a Twilly doll or any ribbon that you have around your house to create a gap underneath the flap and attach any small handle you have to it to make a tiny handheld bag. This is super cute for evenings and very nice for more elegant occasions. You could even get a really pretty chain strap that's a short strap so you can make it into a proper little evening clutch. I have seen mini conversion kits for this Constant Slim on Etsy. I will link some below. I haven't bought one yet, but here I'm showing you how you can wear it cross body. This is just a chain that I took off one of my little Louis Vuitton double zip pouchettes. I simply just hooked the ends of the chains together and ran it underneath the flap because you have the little gap in the side you can run a chain under the flap very easily of course if you're using this day in and day out you're gonna get a chain rub on the inside of the flap but if you're just using it you know for a night out I don't think it's really gonna give that much wear to your bag and keep in mind bags are a usable item so you're gonna get wear eventually anyways another more creative way you can wear this bag is on the wrist. Now this is probably not your everyday use, but if you have like a cocktail party, you can use a Twilly and double it around as a bracelet and tie it. Of course, it's also made to be a belt bag. This is a very practical use for this bag. It fits most belt sizes. I did buy the thin ladies belt. I think it's 13 mm of the Vert Fizz and it has gold on the other side, but you guys know I'm never gonna use gold. But it also, I realized, can fit my larger men's belt, the 38 mm belt, so just so you can see, many different size belts can fit through this belt loop. So I have packed it full of items. I don't think there's a purpose of showing like how it fits cards and cash. So I've packed it as if I'm gonna use this for a night out as a mini bag, and I'm gonna show you what fits inside. 
Here is how it looks packed. I have like a breath spray. I use my spare camera battery to show like a car key would fit in here because my car key is downstairs. And I put a hair tie, a mini perfume sample. We've got a full lipstick and this is a pretty big one. This is the Hermes lipstick. I've got a house key. I put that in the back slot um, so it's not just rubbing around scratching the inside and in the front I put a store card and some cash so I think it fits just enough for a night out and it's a perfect little mini bag size. Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a like and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my bags and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!